people that people listen to pop music for an easy way out, just for enjoyment of the most shallow and, and tedious type, really. The, the problem with Western music is, contemporary Western music, is that it offers, offers nothing except shallow pleasure, um, petty enjoyment, and the promise of dancing the night away and drinking, fucking, picking people up, all completely pointless things to do. Uh, Western music used to have something important in it, if we look at, back at the classical composers, but even the classical music of the West now can't offer anything to people because it exists in its own sphere. It's um, a finished sort of music. which I mean everything that matters, has been dead. And you, you only have to walk, walk down the street and you watch the people walking along who are just, their, their shoulders are bowed with defeat. They realize that they're living completely meaningless lives and that there's nothing, nothing for them to look forward to. They kill themselves by the admission of their defeat, by refusing to explore, by refusing to question. They want the easy life, the easy option. They want to be left alone to carry on doing what they're doing, which is always nothing whatsoever. And I think it's easy to get sort of too perhaps arrogant about it and say, well, they should be doing this and they should be doing that. But I'm not saying that, therefore, if people want to get out of this problem, that they've got to do this or they've got to do that or this is the answer, that's the answer. Perhaps the only, only way out is if you actually go up to them and give them a good kicking and say, why don't you fucking wake up? <laughs> don't have to offer anything, they don't have to offer imagery, ideas, they just have to exist, they have to put forward the sound that they make and that is enough in itself. They don't have to go on and on about how strange they are, how weird this is, how progressive they are, how different they are investigating things which have never been told of before. But the West doesn't realise that there's a whole culture that is was thousands of years old when we were still running around with mud on our faces. And we look at these cultures and sneer at them, but they have everything to offer. And we've got nothing left except our, the corpses of an entire civilization.
all completely over and there's just nothing left for them. And the sooner people realize that, come to terms with the fact that the civilization is dead, the sooner they'll be able to get out of it and start building something up and learning from other people and building something new and fresh. But as long as people are crippled by the illusion that they're part of something important, something which has died a long time ago, there's just no hope for them. Yeah. But, but they're the only people that can do anything about it. Yeah. So that's why you were leaving for India end of this summer? Yeah, basically it's... I was born in Asia anyway, and having lived in England and a couple of other places in Europe, although it's pleasant and easy, there's no challenge. And I think that the closer you are to corruption, the quicker you get corrupted yourself. So by living in a culture which is morally and spiritually corrupt, you start to come like that yourself. You know, you catch the disease very easy, and yeah. it becomes very easy to sit back. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, that's what I'm going to do. I go to India to study Tibetan language and Tibetan religion, Tibetan medicine. But obviously, it's not saying that this is what everybody should do. It's just, yeah. I suppose, it's just it's my, my, pers yeah, it's my yeah. personal way of running away from it. Because fuck knows, I can't take it anymore. Okay, this one simple question. Uh, why did you come back from India? Um, well, having got so pissed off with the West, I decided to go and find my true will man in India and Nepal. And when I got there, having been there before, I realized how much things had changed and the place was just crawling with hippies, crawling with Western and Eastern hippies. The Western, of course, being by far the worst and fake gurus lamas whose only interest seem to be in conning as much money out of people as possible their main point of interest in this world seemed to be what sort of watch you had on and the fact that most of the buddhist monks i met the young ones all seemed to have guitars and play Jimi hendrix all the time i thought this is obviously not the place to be 